In the past couple of lessons, we looked at very complex lookup problems, and in the first one we solved it with index and some product, in the second one we solved it with index and aggregate, and now we're going to look at text join. If you haven't seen the other two lessons, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check it out. If you have seen them, I advise you to look at this one because you're going to learn a lot about text join. So let's start. Let me show you first a little bit about text join, which is a function that you see in Office 365, and then we can solve the problem step by step. So basically, what I have here is a date, I have three countries, and I have deals I've made with clients from different countries. What I want for every client is to get the countries corresponding to the clients. So first of all, if I look at text join, equal text join, open parenthesis, I have first the delimiter. The delimiter is what will separate your end result. So I'm going to use a semicolon here, double quotation, comma. Here is ignore empty cells or include empty cells. In this example, I'm going to include empty cells, so false. And then I have my text. So this is my first text, my second text, my third text, and then close parenthesis, you can see that I have client one with semicolons. If I change this, the text, and I replace it with a range, and I do enter, it will work the same way. So I can use a range instead of individual cells. So this is one thing. The other thing I need to show you is, if I do equal, and then I select this whole range, then we can use F4, because we're going to drag this later on, equal client1. So I want to see where do I have client1. I'm going to do enter. If it doesn't work for you, you can use control shift enter. Here I'm going to get a matrix. In this matrix, I'm going to get true wherever I have an instance in this data set that is equal to client1. So here you have client1, client1 and client1, so you get true, true, and true. If you don't see this matrix, what you could do is go up here and do F9, and then you can see all this true and false. Let's press escape. For the remainder of this video, I'm gonna try to show you in a matrix wherever I can, because it's simpler to understand. But anytime you don't see, you can use F9. So here we get this true and false, what I want to do is convert this to the countries. So how can I convert this to the countries? I could use an if statement. So I can do if, open parenthesis, this is my test. If it's true, let's get the country corresponding to the column. So I'm going to do B3 to D3. Then I will put F4, then comma. If it's false, I want a blank cell. Let's close the parenthesis. This time I'm going to do Control shift enter You get Japan, France, and Colombia, which is awesome because now we have blanks for everything else. Given that I have this now, if I manage to merge this approach with the text join approach, then I'm set because I'm going to get basically Japan, semicolon, France, semicolon, Colombia. So let's try to do this. I'm just going to copy paste this if statement. So control C, escape. Let's go here and let's write equal text join. My delimiter is a semicolon in double quotation, comma. This time I want to ignore empty cells. I just want the cells that have data and I want to have a semicolon. So I'm just going to do true and then comma. Then we can paste what we have copied, then close the parenthesis, and then control shift enter. So I get Japan, France, and Colombia. Let's delete this, what we have at the bottom, we don't need it anymore. And let's delete this text join here. Now, the first one works very well. Let's try for the rest. If I drag it, I can see that it works well for most of them, except client 2. In client 2, I get Japan two times. Why? Because I have Japan here 
and Japan here. So how to fix this one? Let's use the fine formula in an unconventional way. I'll show you step by step. Stay with me and then you'll see where I'm going. So let's do a find, easy find, equal find, find text. Let's do Japan, comma, within this text. And let's close the parenthesis, enter, I get one. If I change Japan to France, I will get seven. So what is find doing? Find is telling me the position of where I can find Japan or France. And if I do Colombia, same thing. So now if I want to find Japan, France and Colombia in one go, instead of finding one by one, what I could do is replace this by an array. So Japan, France and Colombia. Let's do F4. And then let's do Control Shift Enter. Here you only see one, but if I go up and I do F9, you can see that I get one, seven, and 14. So these are the positions where I have France, Japan, and Colombia. If I do the same for this one, and I do F9, you can see that I get one, seven, and value because I don't have Colombia. So let's do escape. Let's remove this and let's think what can I do now? I'm getting numbers. So if I try to see whether France, Japan and Colombia are numbers, I can theoretically return France, Japan or Colombia if I find a number corresponding to it. So to do it, we can have if is number, open parenthesis, close parenthesis here, so if I find a number, the value, if it's true, will be Japan, France, or Colombia. Let's do F4, comma. If I don't find anything, I want a blank. So let's close the parenthesis, Control Shift, Enter. So here, let's just go there, do F9. And what I get is Japan, France, and Colombia. So that's perfect. Let's do Escape. Now, what do I need to do? I just need to aggregate with text join because now I have three countries, right? So I'm going to do text join before it. The delimiter is the same. You got used to it now. Comma, ignore empty cells. Yes. Comma, I want to get this. So now I close the parentheses and I press Ctrl Shift and Enter. And I get Japan, France and Colombia. The last thing I need to do, if you click on this formula, you can see that it's referring to this cell. But what I could do, I could take the formula that I have in this cell and paste it instead of G4. So I did escape. I'm just going to do this text join, take it, Control C, escape, go here, double click on G4, paste it, and then Control Shift Enter. Then I can drag this down. And as you can see, I don't see any more a duplicate Japan. And this is how it works. So basically, I found if there is a number for Japan, France, or Colombia. If there is, I wrote Japan, I wrote France, and I wrote Colombia. And I got rid of the duplicates. So if this was hard for you, please let me know in the comment section. Maybe I can help you. And try to build the formula step by step. And as usual, if you really like this content and you found it challenging, please like this video, comment, share it, and subscribe to the channel because it will help the channel grow and disseminate the knowledge.